Imagine this an exoskeleton made of extremely durable stainless steel with strong, angular lines reminiscent of a sci-fi spacecraft, a trimotor that can accelerate you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in seconds, and an unmatched 500-mile range. This titan of creativity as a Tesla investor, none other than the powerful Joe Rogan has praised the Cybertruck, referring to it as the future of pickup trucks. I conducted the research today because I was curious about what would happen if Rogan's prediction that the Cybertruck would rule the roads came true. We'll explain to you exactly what will happen to Tesla's stock price if Joe's prediction comes to fruition and why Joe's prediction. Brace yourself, as we believe this might be the invention that allows Tesla investors to enjoy their long-awaited retirement. We will demonstrate this to you with a detailed study before we begin. Our forecast is likely to come true. Welcome to Tesla Insights. If you enjoy this kind of information, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Now, let's begin the video with an exquisite demonstration of elegance and grace. During a recent episode featuring comedian Jim Brewer, Joe Rogan, a well-known podcast presenter, fell head over heels in love with Tesla's new design. Tesla's mesmerizing creation, the Cybertruck, has captured the hearts of many people. What precisely did Joe remark in January 2022? Rogan went into his conviction that the Cybertruck will transform the industry. Joe shared his comments and photos on his Facebook page after getting to see the Cybertruck prototype and test drive the real-life version of Delight. Even a year later, Rogan's love for the beast is still steadfast. He called the electric pickup truck prototype the pinnacle of coolness and stressed how extremely lovely the cyber vehicle looked in person, feeling like a big leap into the future. Rogan emphasizes a number of crucial features of the cyber vehicle. He firmly predicted that it will surpass several competitors during his meeting with Brewer, mentioning its dynamic suspension system, stainless steel body paneling, and overall superb design. Rogan also believes that given the staggering off-road capabilities and bulletproof cladding of the cyber truck, regular truck owners will be drawn to it. If Joe's prediction comes true, how many cyber truck vehicles will be tested for sale and how many will Tesla be able to make at one end of the spectrum? Given that the number of pre-orders has exceeded 1.5 million, he believes that Tesla will struggle to meet this demand. Let's start there. We've got Elon Musk's personal anticipations when Elon Musk introduced the Cybertruck on November 21, 2019, he informed the assembled crowd that he thought the vehicle will eventually sell between 250, 000 and 5, 000, 000 units annually and that it would be made at Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. His statement elicited a variety of responses. I happen to lean toward optimism and think Elon's estimates were conservative for a few reasons. While some people were thrilled about the idea of a cyber truck that could sell millions of units annually, others were dubious due to the truck's unusual design and high price. The most recent pre-order total for Tesla was 1.5 million in November 2021. This figure is conservative because it does not take into account the millions or even hundreds of thousands of pre-orders that have been placed in the last 18 months. However, even this conservative estimate will be higher than Elon's initial projections in fact, even if we were to go with the highest estimate of 500,000 vehicles annually, the pre-orders as of 2021 would equal three years worth of projected sales. This, in my opinion, is clear evidence that demand is higher than Elon had initially thought. Another reason Elon probably underestimated is that the pickup market makes up a sizable portion of the global automotive industry. According to Statista, sales of pickup trucks reached 3.7 million units in 2021, and they are predicted to increase to 4.8 million units by 2028, a 30% increase. The greatest market for pickup trucks is the United States, which accounts for over 40% of global sales. Outside of the United States, pickup trucks also have a significant foothold in additional markets, such as Canada, Australia, and the Middle East. These regions have their own unique preferences and requirements for pickup trucks presently the Ford F-Series is the best-selling pickup truck in the world, and it has been for 46 consecutive years in 2022 Ford sold an estimated 640-000 F-Series trucks, which is about 20 of the total pickup truck market in the United States, so sales of the F-Series alone comprises about 16 of nearly 4 million worldwide annual pickup truck sales, but there is a reason to think that the Cybertruck is not competing with the F-Series but rather with Ford as a whole. The pilot split is not the 640-000 vehicles of the F-Series, but the 1 million total trucks sold by Ford. Here's why Ford has different pickup lines, because it wants to appeal to a wider range of customers with different needs. For example, the F-Series is known for its durability and towing capacity. The Bronco is a rugged off-road pickup. 
truck it's designed for adventure and it can handle even the most challenging terrain the Cybertruck is said to have the advantage of all four pickup lines combined and more, according to Joe Rogan, who told us investors about his encounter with the vehicle in person on February 2, 2023. Rogan took to Instagram to express his awe and opposition, saying that the Cybertruck is the most astounding vehicle he's ever seen and that, standing next to it, he felt as though he had traveled 100 years into the future. It's reasonable to assume that Rogan's thoughts correctly express the Cybertruck's unrivaled attraction. Rogan notes that while the Cybertruck may look wicked images, experiencing its massive size and compelling beauty in person is a whole different level of adoration. The F-Series' primary selling point is its built-in power, which is significantly surpassed by the Cybertruck's unique stainless steel plating, which is frequently likened to that of the F-Series. With its impenetrable glass and ability to float through open water, the DeLorean DMC-12 is expected to be far more durable than its aluminum-based competitors, such as the Ford F-150 Lightning and the future Chevy Silverado EV. The Cybertruck's translucent shell is incredibly aerodynamic, guaranteeing exceptional performance. The Tesla Cybertruck sounds like it belongs on the set of a James Bond movie. It is anticipated to perform far better at decreasing drag than other trucks, such as the Ford F-Series. This is because of the Cybertruck's flat front, which acts as an air splitter to encourage even airflow throughout the vehicle. To put it another way, this implies that the Cybertruck performs better overall by being more adept at slicing through the air and lowering resistance. The Ford F-Series features a classic truck design with a curved front end. This design increases drag which can lower performance and fuel economy. However, the flat front of the Cybertruck reduces drag which can enhance performance and fuel efficiency. The Ram 1500 model currently holds the record for the best pickup truck drag coefficient, which is a pitiful .36. In addition to its flat front, the Cybertruck has a number of other features that help to reduce drag such as a smooth underbody, a rear diffuser, and wheel covers. Elon Musk mentioned that Tesla aims to achieve a drag coefficient of 0.30, which would be a record. The Cybertruck's general shape is extremely aerodynamic, which enables it to move through the air with little resistance. It is anticipated that the Cybertruck will outperform the Ford F-Series in terms of both performance and fuel efficiency. Joe Rogan has discussed drag's significant impact on fuel economy, especially at highway speeds. He concurs with Musk that the Cybertruck's torque handling and performance will be on par with or better than that of most exotic sports cars, including the well-known Porsche 911. On his podcast, Rogan asserts that no other vehicle can match the power of a Tesla. He even goes so far as to call the Model S his fastest vehicle, outperforming even his Porsche 911 GT3. He compares driving it to riding a roller coaster, emphasizing its remarkable speed, despite its modest appearance as a four-door sedan. Therefore, if buyers are searching for endurance, towing capability, and raw power, the Cybertruck has the F-Series B. As Tesla's aim and the success of the Cybertruck intersect the launch of the robo-taxi fleet has given the company a market capitalization of over $5 trillion. In a high-cost country such as the US, studies indicate that in order to retire early at age 40, with a life expectancy of 80 years, the monthly requirement is at least $4,000. With this assumption, the total cost over 40 years comes to $1.92 million. For simplicity, let's round it to $2 million. If the price of Tesla stock hits $2.00K in 2027, an investor would need to add 1,000 shares to their portfolio in order to reach the desired $2 million mark. While the sum may appear high, purchasing 1,000 shares of Tesla would cost $262,000, as the stock price at the time of recording was $262 per share. As we come to the end of our thrilling journey into the world of Tesla and its astounding potential, those who have a head start due to having acquired shares in the past may be approaching the coveted figures needed to make test of retirement a reality. We can't help but marvel at the extraordinary prospects that lie ahead as reflected in Joe Rogan's love affair with the cyber truck. The pickup truck will be destroyed by the truck's innovative technology and unflinching confidence, Joe has been a fervent fan of this futuristic marvel from the Cybertruck's introduction, and if you want to retire on Tesla shares, you should be too foreign for me.